Hello everyone, welcome to today's do-it-yourself video. So as you can see, today we are going to be creating those cute ghosties as a last-minute Halloween decoration idea. You will see that both variations are absolutely easy and inexpensive. Let's start with those two cute little guys. For those coasties, you are going to need several little styrofoam balls. You definitely want to use any kind of almost transparent fabric. I used white chiffon and I cut the edges with the zigzag scissors. The edge becomes so a little bit more interesting structure and it also prevents the fabric from frazzling. I placed the two layers of fabric over each other and formed the middle. I made just a few stitches so that the fabric stays together and at the end I made a knot. And then I made an additional stitch but I put my finger through it and started sewing around the thread so that I create a little loop. It is important to pull your finger out uh, as soon as the loop gets tighter and then you can keep uh, sewing around the thread until you're done. And of course, don't forget to make a proper knot at the end. I put a Christmas ornament hook through the loop and this is how I hang my ghosties uh, over the door. But you could also pull a cord through it and that way if you had more ghosties you could create a garland. I glued the fabric um, on the styrofoam ball with hot glue. I put a little bit of the hot glue on the top and also several tiny drops on the sides and then I kind of close the fabric around it and that way the fabric is always going to stay down and wouldn't expose the ball later. Last step was to cut out four small little circles of black felt. I used again my glue gun to glue them in place. So, and here they are. I'm definitely going to make some more and I'm going to place them on this metal cord over our garden doors. If you had a party at home, outside, you could always also hang them on your shrubbery. Now let's have a look at the glow-in-the-dark variation. For this variation you are going to need an acrylic ball that can be open and closed and any kind of cord. Furthermore you are going to need several glow sticks, um, in best case with the small little plastic pieces so that you can put more of them together. I took two layers of the exact same fabric we were using at the beginning for the smaller ghosties. I placed two sheets over each other and cut a small hole in the middle and made a few stitches around so that the fabric won't frazzle. I cut out two bigger oval shapes of the black felt and glued them on one of the halves of the acrylic ball as the ghosties eyes. I pulled a brown cord through the loop at the end of the ball and made a knot. I left the ball still open and took several glow sticks. I broke them, shook them and connected more of them so that I had a slightly larger piece. And then I started turning it in some kind of a pretzel and put it inside of the uh, acrylic ball. I closed the acrylic ball and pulled the fabric over it and voila, this is our glowing ghosty. The darker it gets, the better this ghost looks. You could of course also glue the eyes on the top of the fabric instead of on the acrylic ball, but that is entirely up to you. The glowing ghosties look definitely great in your yard when it gets dark. So oh, that was it, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If that was the case, I would be happy about a comment or a thumb up. If you're for the first time here, I would be happy if you subscribe if you didn't yet. And don't forget to check out the info below the video. 
you will find there a link to more do-it-yourself videos to the Halloween series from last year and to other videos I filmed for this year's Halloween. So if you want to, you can have a look at them. You will find also links to my web page, to my Facebook page and to my Instagram page and you can visit me there if you want to. Thank you so so much for watching, have a great day and happy Halloween, bye!